welcome everyone, GamerCop here. This is going to be episode 5 of my gameplay on Fishing North Atlantic. So, <laughs> last time we were out with the Toby, which was a very cheap boat, and it, we didn't do too well on it. We made a little bit of money, but not really a whole lot. Um, so what I did is I, I sold that boat. I figured I didn't want to keep it, which we took a big loss on it, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, our money's up to 368. I went out with um, the Mickey, or the original boat we had gone out deep line fishing with, and I went out deep line fishing. Did very well. Um, got a couple, little, a couple of swordfish and mostly tuna. Um, and by the way, those other two long lines. So the deep lines are the ones that you get the tuna and swordfish on. The long lines are the ones we did last episode. The other two long lines, when I went to pick them up, there weren't any fish on them, so no big deal. Um, I think we were supposed to gut them though. So I don't know if we get more money if we gut them. I kind of forgot about that process and if we needed to do. It. I mean, obviously it let us sell them, but I'm still I mean, new to the game. So if you notice that, I do apologize if that would have gotten us more money. And it would have been a little bit more profitable, but I doubt it would have made us as much as we were doing on the Mickey. So with the deep line fishing, I went out, I only went out once with the eight deep lines, and I made us another like 120,000 or something like that, somewhere around that made that that area. And we are in Yarmouth now, which I think what we're gonna do is well, first let's go ahead and go to crew. Um, on board, we're gonna move you, the crew house. I'm gonna go back to the dock, and we are going to go to the shipyard. Available. I think we're gonna go out with the Lenore. I think that's what we're gonna try. So it's two hundred ninety-five thousand plus. I mean, it's gonna be tricky. Plus rigging and everything. We'll see what we end up needing to do. Let's actually go to the bank real quick. Back town bank. Do we still have those other loans out? Yeah, we do. Borrow. We can take out a lot though now. So let's go ahead and take out this guy. Can I take out this as well? We'll take out that as well. And then I do want to repay those two smaller loans. So we'll pay off that and pay that off. So we're at to 568, which I, I know we probably could have just gone out and earned some more money. We should be, I don't even think we'll need all of that money, but I just want to make sure before I start spending money that we are able to get what we want to get going. So available, we'll buy the Lenore. No, okay. Um, let's go to, so the Lenore is now active. Let's go to rigging, equipped. For net fishing, for lobster, or for deep line? Well, we did, we've done deep line, obviously, and we did long line. Um, let's do net fishing. Let's try that out. So, um, no. Let's go back. Now, we can have two crew members on board here. So, we're currently rigged for that. We own that, but we don't own those two. That makes sense. Um, maintenance, we, everything should be good to go. Fuel tank is full. Boat is undamaged because it's new. Um, let's go to upgrades. Storage. So, obviously, upgrades are going to get significantly more on here. Um, that's gonna add 22,000 pounds, but since we're doing such a, a big The fish we're gonna get is gonna be mostly bigger weighted stuff. So uh, bigger engine. We'll of course need to get that um, Fish sonar, I'm not too worried about the fish sonar on this one But we're probably gonna hold on to this boat for a while. So we'll probably upgrade this the Lenore We're probably gonna hold on to again. So get all the good stuff on here. We'll even buy the beefiest uh, Searchlight on that. So 91,000. That's nothing though compared to the original price of the boat We'll check out. We're down to 172, which is absolutely fine. We still need to buy fishing gear. So let's go to fish market, buy fishing gear, um, buy nets. Um, we can do how many nets? Maximum of 12. Let's do 180 yard nets, but that's instead of do 12 of them, let's do. We'll try six and see how that goes. And then let's go back. We shouldn't have to do anything with the nets. We just, they're just nets. So. Um, yeah, we'll just try that, and then we do want to probably hire... Yeah, let's go to crew here. Um, crew house for net hauling. You're not... Oh, I love that. It, I like that it shows you out over here. I mean, it has a visual over here, but that's kind of nice. Net hauling, so yeah. Uh, you can return to the Lenore, and now we'll probably want to hire someone else. Um, let's go with net hauling. So net hauling's three. Ooh, you were the one that had to 10 on there for 25. Yeah, we'll hire you. Okay, perfect. And on board, we should have these two guys. Okay, perfect. Everything should be good to go. Let's see if there's any tips on where we should be net fishing. Um, I think that's one that you can pick up in a net, so we might as well look at that. Um, okay, let's head out. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I know we sold some fish here. Um, okay. That searchlight's pretty good. The boat over there coming in without any lights on. That'd be kind of sketchy. Um, okay, let's get this thing turned around. 
this takes a while for this baby to speed up but this is a big old boat here well i mean i say that it's not really actually that big um it just is bigger than what we've been using so i'll try to keep the actual boat volume like the, the volume of the engine and stuff this actually maneuvers pretty well too um down to a pretty reasonable level um so hopefully none of it's too loud but uh yeah okay perfect we'll slow you down i know you're not going that fast anyways um we'll want to get you to here then to here and out to here okay um silver hake and we also have the redfish and pollock this is a good spot over here though um let's try the shallow waters we'll try that we'll throw out some nets out here and that'll be also kind of nice because we're not that far away because this thing obviously does not go that fast as you can see where it's going to take us a while just to get out to here so um we don't want to really go too far away from shore if we can at all avoid it um yeah we'll go to there and then we'll start throwing some nets along here um okay so fuel that actually didn't take a whole lot of fuel which is actually really nice um let's get some people ready to do some net haul prepare gear Actually, no, you're very good with all of this type of stuff. So hand gut, that's not something that we'll have to do. Um, and now we can actually have someone repair the boat if we want to while we're on this boat. So um, that's a very nice feature. Um, let's get some lights on while we're throwing out stuff. Okay. So should be able to set a net whenever... I can do it now, can't I? Oh, is it being prepared? Maybe that's... <laughs> they're preparing it. That's my bad. Oh, there we go. I just had to hit that button. Okay, perfect. We'll speed up. Go ahead and set a net. Then we want to try to keep the boat straight. So that's what we're doing with this. Trying to keep that right in the middle as we're throwing the net out. I can't... I'm, it's adjusting my speed for me, so I'm not adjusting the speed at all. I don't know how long it's going to take to get these out. It doesn't have like a an indicator for how many yards are left I can that I can see. I'm trying to look for one. I don't see one. Huh. Anyhow. It'll be fine. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> this is a long net, that's for sure. I do like that that keeps that central no matter where you go, so it kind of helps you if you're trying to look around or do something at a different angle. That's a long net. Wow. All right. Well, prepare that. Oh, is it prepared? I guess it's prepared. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now we're just waiting for the distance. We'll turn a little bit to head up this way. Too close to the other gear. Once that lights up, there we go. All right, perfect. Okay, we'll get that one thrown out. Dismiss that. How many did we bring on board? We brought four, did we, or did we bring six? We might've brought six. Let's go to gear here. Oh, we only brought four, okay, good. So I'll probably set out, this thing holds 44,000 pounds of fish. Again, I don't know what we're gonna get off of each net. So um, what I'll probably end up doing actually right now, just for the interest of time, because it'll be more exciting when we're actually hauling the nets up, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I'll bring you guys back in after we set all the nets. So I'm going to go ahead and set them all four just along here, and this could be just a terrible spot. If that's the case, then uh, we'll figure something out a little bit later. But uh, oops, sorry, i got to keep that center. But uh, yeah, I'll get these nets thrown out, and I'll bring you guys back in in just a little bit. All right, folks, so we have four nets out. I left these two in here. Um, actually, let me... Oh, I didn't want to set it. Well... I guess we're setting that one. I'll say I wasn't trying to do that. I wanted to move it back over there. But uh, yeah, so we're going to set five now. <laughs> I better get back in here so I can drive. Oh, boy. Well, that happens sometimes, I suppose. But uh, I was going to say, we got them all set. We're going to be darn near over top of that one, which isn't great. But oh, boy. Anyhow. After we get this one set, we'll fast forward time, and yeah. <laughs> All 
I guess I can actually, you know what, let's just stop it. It might damage it. And that is now too damaged to use. That's all right. Um, let's get, let's just do this. I didn't want to set you, darn it. That's all right, the nets weren't that expensive. I'm not too worried about it. All right, that'll work. Okay. Everyone's resting. Engine is done. We're going to go ahead and fast forward some time here. So, clock right here. Let's do... I don't know how long these go for. I think we get a message. I think it's a while, though. Let's see on the map. Okay, they're green, so they're starting to get there. Um, that's good. We might be able to do this during the daytime. That'd be nice. Orange? Is that bad? Good? I can't remember. Um, fishing tools. Let's go to net. I'm hoping red, yellow, green, blue. What is orange? I don't know what orange is. That looks like orange to me. Um... Hmm. We had green. Did we go past the blue? I have no idea what orange means. That's peculiar. Huh. Well, there. Let's just fast forward another. See what happens. Oh, those are red now. Well, that was a bad mistake. Um. Okay. So orange is bad. That means they're getting ready to go back into. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's how you learn right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, well, we'll haul up number five here because number five should just be garbage. And then, uh, yeah, let's get you out here for net haul and you out here for net haul. That's why we need the two people. So five, we'll see how bad five is. I, and then sometimes they damage the net when they're pulling it up. So what we might do since we're out here still, since we have plenty of gas, is we might I might go set some more nets and then bring you guys back in for that. Okay, yep, two damage to use, not fully completed. We got 500 pounds of fish, though. that's pretty good. Um, let's go see how bad the reds are gonna be, but yeah, that was my bad. So about a day, it seems like, is good, because these guys have been out here, so yeah, we'll skip maybe 18 hours, and maybe then to go by ones at that point, so. Yeah, we'll fish out again. We'll get some more fish on board before we head in. Maybe we'll actually go in and sell these and then come back out since we'll have time since we're not that far away, but this seemed like it's a good spot. They're net hauling. We should actually be able to go out. Oh, they're done. I'll say you should be able to come out here and watch them. Um, okay. Oh, we'll get back into here. Uh, and do that. Uh, 4,000 pounds. Okay, we're not doing too bad. I thought we'd do a lot worse, but we're not doing too bad. That's pretty good for a red net. Maybe if they're just, maybe I should have just taken the green net and called it good, but, uh, yeah, anyhow, worth a shot. I think this is okay. We'll get more. We'll probably end up doing this the next episode. Go out and do some more net fishing. Um, but if we're getting that much off of those, we probably really only needed to set four as well. I think four is going to be kind of ideal. It's good to have extra nets on board, though, I guess, in case we break them and stuff. But I am liking this guy's fuel economy. Well, I guess we're not that far from where we came from, so I guess I can't really comment too much on it. Um, this guy, one day seven hours, one day eight He's probably going to be bad by the time we get there, but we'll see. We'll just, we can, what, what can you do? What can you do? Other than not make that mistake, you can do great. It looks like there's swordfish out there. Hmm. Not that we can do any harpooning or anything with this anyways, but, uh. I do like that they just grab the nets for this. But we can see them. We'll get closer next time so we can actually see him um, pulling the net. 2,100 pounds, yep. <clears throat> Wasn't great, but it was something at least. Yeah, I do like that they can just grab the net pretty easily like that without having to stop and do any different things like that. But yeah, look at the swordfish out here. There's all sorts of swordfish out here. Cool. Huh. I do like this ship, though. This is a decent-sized ship. I know it was a little expensive, but hey, I like it. We'll do some hand gutting too, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll head in and sell. 
I don't know if they can I know they can't hand gut while you're fast traveling but I think they can do it while you're driving just around and about but uh, we could also just finish it up out here we can do some of it by hand we'll do some of that just to show that feature off a little bit all right I don't think speed matters I think they can just grab it we'll see though be a test of that yep they just grabbed it you see there they're hauling in the net and they got 700 pounds of fish. I might actually, uh, let's get close to that one. Ooh, this one we might get within, uh, yeah, we will get this one when it's orange, so it shouldn't be absolutely horrendous, but it won't be the best either. I do want to get a thumbnail photo at some point. That's a big ship heading in. You better not run over my net. Oh, now they're red. Never mind. We're not going to get them when they're orange. They're red. <laughs> okay. Let me, uh, let me do this. I think we could still grab it as we're heading through. So I'll do this so we can... Hopefully we're going straight for it. Yep. Maybe a little bit slower. Oop, yep, slow down and get ready to take a thumbnail photo. Ooh. Well, we missed that one. That's because I was trying to steer and I'd gone off. Turn it. Okay. Come on now. We'll just loop back around. I think we can do that. I put that up for a second. <laughs> Not going well. <laughs> trying to get a good thumbnail photo, and that's what I get for trying. All right, let's head back. Come on now. All right. Slow you down. We're gonna keep you right about there and we're slowly gonna work our way in. Hide that. Oh, are we gonna miss it again? Yeah, put it in reverse, come on. Come on, reverse, reverse, reverse. I know boats don't really just switch directions crazy quick, but I expect more from my boats. All right, come on now. Let's go forward. Okay, this one should be should be a keeper here. Oh, come on. Did we seriously miss it again? Well, I'm going to call that the thumbnail, and I'm going to stop messing around with that. You got to be kidding me, though. This thing really does not maneuver worth of garbage. All right, this is actually going to be sad, as sad as this is. This is going to be faster than turning this stupid ship around. I'm trying this again. Let's get a little bit... Can you seriously not... Ugh. This definitely needs some work, this uh, system here that they got going. There, that's at least angled us in the right direction. Now we can hopefully pick this up without incident this time. Good lord. Sorry about all that. I don't know what... I just... Ugh, that was frustrating. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea why I was having such a difficult time with that, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Come on. The ship does not. I feel like the controls need some work, too, because I know I understand that it's not like farming simulator where you're constantly accelerating, but uh, I was holding down the up arrow and it just stopped there for whatever reason, which is a little bit frustrating. But let's get some of those swordfish in this net. I know it's not possible, but. All right, 718 pounds of fish. So now we should be able to, which one of you has hand gutting? Hand gutting's there. Your hand gutting is pretty good. Let's get you to go rest. You're gonna hand gut. So we should be able to go gutting. Yeah, we didn't catch a whole lot. The gutting's happening. Oh, he's doing four stars. That's pretty good. I think we can do it, though. We'll go ahead and we'll have you rest, and then we will... We'll go out and do that. All right. I don't know why those left mouse button 
buttons were there, but uh, we'll go ahead and gut fish. So we hit start. Ooh, that was a terrible line. You're trying to just follow that along there. We're not, we're doing, he was doing better than we were. <laughs> As you can see, our star rating up in the, the side there, that was terrible. Wow. That was, that was better. That was getting better, all right. Ooh, that wasn't great. That was at least still three stars. Redfish. <laughs> you can go pretty fast through it if you want to, though. I bet you if you got just a little bit of practice, it would go a lot quicker, but... Oh, jeez, that was just horrendous. I don't know how I missed that bad. Poof. And this should be the last one here. Exit. All right, well, we got to them. Not great, but uh, we got to them. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Well, let's head in and go sell this. This actually was a decent area to do some net fishing. Um, I'm just going to put one of you on that end because that was kind of the range. I know we were catching other things in there too, but... Uh, Okay, so what actually, what we need to do is, let's do this, and then let's go down here and view our, um, most of our weight is in Haddock and Pollock, followed by Cod. So Haddock, Pollock, Cod, in that order of importance. Um, let's go back here. Haddock. Where's Pollock? $1.74, $3.35. 240, 145, 93, 140. Wow. Well, let's go to Yarmouth and sell Pollock and then Cod 33 there, 18, 51. So we'll just sell Pollock here and then we'll go elsewhere to sell everything else. Okay, that's what we'll do. So we'll go to Yarmouth first. This map, which I don't even know if it's worth it necessarily if we don't have that. I mean, we might just sell them all on here just because it has Pollock has a good price on here. Yeah, we'll probably just sell them. Let's go ahead and just uh, dock here. Yes. So 14 grand. Again, we're doing good on the Haddock and Pollock. Cod was okay. Yeah, not the worst. So that's not too bad. We didn't have a lot of weight on board the boat. Again, we only filled up. Did we even fill up a fourth of it? Maybe not even that much of it. So we probably go out and do a lot better with nets. Um, yeah, we'll probably go out and do a lot better with nets in the next episode. So, anyhow, that's going to be the end of it here. We will go out and do some more net fishing in the next episode, I think, with the uh, Lenore. So, anyhow, we did all right in this one. Um, yeah, it is what it is. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like down below if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Gamer Cop channel. Turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Gamer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.